What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I've been using Lightcaster class for almost a year now, and I've learned a lot about it. So let me share some of that knowledge. Okay, I like to start off every class video on how to get the class. So if you want to get this class, it's available for 1,000 ACs as a seasonal class. You have to buy an armor and then bring that armor to a merge shop and get the class uh, like that. You can't sell the armor and you get to keep the armor. So you get an armor and a class for 1,000 ACs, which is a pretty good deal considering this is the second best boss farming class in the game currently, in my opinion. Uh, and some other people's opinions as well that's uh, widely regarded as the second best uh, farming class if you're boss farming. So you can get it for 1k ACs, it'll be in the shop every uh, the time right now that I'm uploading this video, every year that'll be in the shop. So look at the date the video is uploaded, that's the time late September. So let's get into the actual guide. Alright, I'll quickly go over what each skill does and give a quick 2 second description of each, each skill. Okay, so I'll quickly go over what each skill does in a quick like two second description per skill. Alright, your first skill and probably the most important uh, does 3% extra damage to an enemy and stacks up to 50%. So when you use this skill uh, and you stack up to 50, you can do 150% extra damage and that is not just yourself, that is every person in the room. So. I don't think that two light casters can like stack up to 300%. I'm actually, I'm certain you can't do that because that would be insanely overpowered if you had a room full of light casters. So having one light caster in a room is probably the optimal thing to do. And then uh, having other support classes in the room would also help. But light caster by itself, uh, even without the stack is very good. Like it stacking is not uh, a big part of this class. Like I can hit my five skill right now and do a decent amount of damage. It's really not that important, but it really helps if you're farming bosses, which is what this class excels at. All right, uh, your two skill also does a lot of damage. And moving on to the three skill. So for your three skill, it is a skill that stacks up to five times. So you can instead of 50, you can only stack it to five, but it reduces the opponent's chance to hit by 5% per stack up to five. So, like I said, that will help you with farming bosses. If the boss is going to hit you for a lot of damage, it's good to remove that hit chance by 5% up to 5 stacks. So, it's very good to spam 2 and 3 skill when you're farming bosses, and then hitting your 5 skill whenever the cooldown is ready on that. Uh, that's how I use the class, and that's how I'd recommend you also use the class uh, if you're farming bosses with it, or just normal mobs, because the, the cooldowns is 10 mana for your 2 skill, for your stack skill, and 15 on a four second cooldown for your three skills. So those have very low cooldowns, four second cooldown and a, another four second cooldown. So every four seconds, you can spam out a bunch of damage, making the class good for even farming normal mobs. So it's really good at that. And these two skills both stack, so that's good. All right, the four skill is the only skill I don't know what it does by heart because it does such a long list of things. So excuse me as I read it. Uh, it heals for 300%, I knew that, of your spell damage. So that using Wizard Enhancement is going to be key uh, for a high heal on this class. Healer Enhancement doesn't apply here because your heal is boosted by the amount of spell damage you can use. So you definitely want to full Wiz Enhance this class. So definitely go with full Wiz. You could throw in some luck if you want to change it up. Uh, but I'd recommend full Wiz if you're the healer in your group. Um, it does it up to six allies of course so you can heal a full room at once a normal room in aq is six players um illuminate which increases damage crit damage crit chance hit chance dodge chance haste and damage resistance all by 15 percent for 12 seconds so it also buffs a bunch of different things all those things i just listed so this is a huge heal and a huge buff to your team and it's very helpful especially in a boss scenario all right, I have to read the passives off the wiki because uh, in game they don't put the rank 10 passive in game for some reason, but the rank four passives are 15% increase the intellect, which I think has something to do with spell damage. Don't quote me on that, but that's a good 15% more. That's really good. Uh, increasing haste by 15%. Uh, that's with uh, cooldowns, I think. And increasing your damage by 15% on your rank 
10, which is the biggest one, of course, you want to get this class to rank 10. 15% is huge for increasing your damage and making this class even better than it is already. All right, last but not least is your fifth skill, which deals 700% weapon damage uh, when used, of course. So I hit a 2500 right there. And if you had a crit, of course, it's going to do a lot more than that, especially if you use the four skill, boosting your crit damage by 15%, and then using the five skill, uh, you're going to hit even higher. I'm using unarmed, so we're not going to see any huge hits here because unarmed is pure stable 143 at level 80. I'm not level capped. Of course, if you're level capped, you'll be doing slightly more damage than what I'm doing right now. Uh, but this skill really excels once you stack this up to 150% damage, and you're doing 700% damage, and you can see how that would snowball uh, into, I think it goes up to, uh, with unstable, I think you can hit 9, 18, 19, maybe 20k damage uh, if you're in the proper room with the proper uh, buffs uh, from other classes, of course. Uh, so that is what all the skills do. Uh, full wizard is what I use for enhancements. And this class is mainly for boss farming. It's only single target, so I'd recommend something like Blaze Binder uh, if you're going to do multi-target farming on lower health enemies. Uh, for high health enemies, uh, it's good for farming those if there's a room with a bunch of high health enemies in it. And yeah, it's probably one of the best support uh, slash boss killing classes in the game with all the buffs and stuff. Uh, I think Void High Lord would be the only one uh, that's better than it at uh, killing a boss quickly. Now, if you want to survive longer, I think Arch Pally is better at surviving longer, so maybe go with that instead. But this class only costs 1000 ACs, it's half the price of every other class you can buy with ACs, uh, which is insane. It's very cheap for what it is. And you get an armor, which you can't, the armor looks nice and you can't uh, excuse that. So, that is about everything you need to know about this class. If you have any more information you would like to know about the class, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer that. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Uh, this class, if you're seeing this on the day it's uploaded, this class is coming out Friday, the closest Friday uh, to this video being uploaded, so you guys can get it then. And hopefully this video helped you out for when you do get it. Have fun using the class, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.